You guys, I found something really cool. Look at this person's living room. It's Super Mario themed. Okay, honestly, this is probably one of the coolest movie setups I have ever seen. This whole Super Mario world. They went all out on that one. Oh, by the way, hello. hello. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the coolest home movie theater setups that I've ever seen. Way cooler than any movie theater. I'm assuming these are people's living rooms, unless they have like two living rooms. I'm actually in my living room right now. Fact. I'm redoing my living room right now. I'm setting it up to have a better filming space. And I made a short little vlog that I'm gonna put at the end of this video in case you're interested. No way, no way. Look at this, they made their living room look like a cave. <laughs> yes, I get it, man cave, all right, it's a pun, whatever. I'm not gonna make that joke. I'm sure they get it all the time. This looks so good though. I love how it looks like a mine. Even the lights on the sides look really cool. This one kind of looks like a cross between a spaceship and an actual movie theater. That is really cool. I love all the lights on the ceiling, the way they look all futuristic and stuff. Anybody a Star Wars fan? This one looks sick. I love Star Wars, so this would be really cool to have <laughs> as a living room. Oh man. Man, you got C-3PO and Boba Fett there. Oh, and it looks like they're watching episode three. I mean, they have a lot of seats in their living room. I bet people love coming over to their house to watch movies. Like, even the stars in the background. Somebody put a lot of thought into this. Whoa. This is a bat cave. <laughs> You've got the Batman suit in the background, and then the logo there on the back wall above the fireplace. That is so cool. Honestly, this one looks like a movie set. Like, this looks like it is straight out of a movie. There is so much detail. Even the ceiling, the way the ceiling and the lights are. It's like, how do you how do you do that? That's not a normal, like, ceiling. When people are building your house, how do you be like, Oh yeah, can you make my living room into a bat cave? You know that's all custom done. This one looks like an outdoor movie theater. They must have a projector. They have like those bed chair things that you can lay down on. I don't know what they're called. They have their very own popcorn maker and candy. Man, when you have this in your backyard, you don't even need to sneak food into the movie theaters because the movie theater is at your house. That's a pretty sweet deal. Here's another one where they made it look like a real movie theater, except it's all country style. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Personally, this one's not really my style. Oh, they even have like a whole table with a glass case with the candy in it in the back, just like a real movie theater. But I do like the hayloft. Whoa, look at all the lights on this one. The stars are cool too, but I love that blue light in the background. How do they do that? Oh, they have a projector right there, you can see. Looks like they have some games in the background too and a pool table. Oh man, this is probably, this one's probably one of my favorites. It's not as complicated as some of the other themed ones, but it just looks like, like the vibe looks right. Like it's, it's dark, like a movie theater should be, but the stars in the sky are awesome. Got a projector, the games in the back. And if you need the lights on, they look cool. Well done. Whoever made that one. I mean, all of these look really, really amazing. <laughs> what is this? This room is ridiculous. That's basically a bed. That's not even a big couch in the front. That is a full bed and then a bunch of chairs all around it. Everything's like red and gold. This is like for the emperor. This is where the emperor watches movies. This one is so overkill. <laughs> Who needs this? I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but it, it just screams like king, emperor, throne room, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. I don't know why I think that's funny. Oh, this one's nice. It's not a super huge room, but they did really well with the space they had. They made really good use of all the space. They have two couches, it looks like, and they have a riser, so the couch in the back sits up a little bit higher than the one in the front. Very nice touch. And it looks like that's a projection screen, although I can't tell. Looks like they have a snack table in the back. Very important. Yeah, this one looks really good. They, they did a nice job. Some of the home theaters are just huge and like, like, have giant rooms that, like, who has rooms that big in their house? But this one is, like, a reasonable, normal-sized room that they just, like, turned into a really cool-looking movie theater. I like that. Whoa, so this looks like the hallway at someone's house. You walk up the stairs, and this is their hallway. It looks like you're walking into a movie theater with movie posters on the walls and everything, and cool lights and curtains. And even the carpet looks like movie theater carpet. Oh, they did a really good job with that. Whoa, another bat cave. <laughs> is this the same one, or is this another one? No, this one's different. How do they do the scene? Feelings like that. That looks awesome. Oh, that's so cool. This is a pirate ship. Man, somebody really liked Pirates of the Caribbean. They even have the sails. Oh, that's awesome. Look at those chairs. They look really comfortable too. And the stairs you have to walk down. That would be a really fun room to watch a movie in. Actually, it'd be cool to just hang out in there too. It looks awesome. Here we have another one that's more of like a normal sized room, but with very cool lights up above. I love the blue, purple, whatever color that is, and the stars. And the color scheme is, is very cool as well. It looks like kind of futuristic, but not so over the top. Oh, that's fun. It says now showing at the top. They made it all like classic looking. The lights at the top are cool too. Maybe I'm picking my favorites just based on the lights. I don't know. <laughs> now this person, it looks like they have a separate building out back, a tiny house or something. Just just for watching movies. In. Honestly, that's pretty smart if you live with other people because then you could watch the movies really loud 
and not bother anybody. Man, they have so many movies on the wall. Hey, check out this Harry Potter themed room. Wow. That is a really detailed mural on the ceiling. And you can barely see it, but they have a popcorn maker. It's kind of cut off in the shop. Even the lights and the doors are Harry Potter themed. That is a really cool setup. Well, what did you think? Which one was your favorite? Leave a comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want merch, there's a merch shelf down there or a link in the description where you can get high quality t-shirts and other stuff from me. So as promised, here's the mini vlog. I'm about to show you exactly what I'm doing to my living room to set up a filming space. This is what my desk looks like right now. Normally you just see this background, but on the other side, there's actually a mattress there to try to soak up some of the sound because I'm loud and that is my son's room right there. And I usually wake him up if I try to film while he's sleeping. So I put a mattress there. I also put up this backdrop thing it's just a bed frame and I had a memory foam pad behind that as well to try to soak up some of the sound I had acoustic foam everywhere, but it didn't do the trick I still would wake him up whenever I would film so I'm going to make that into its own room Yeah, I hung blankets there too to help it not be so echoey because this is a big echoey room Yeah, this is what it looks like from the outside pretty uh, pretty ugly, huh? That corner <laughs> Is my filming corner and besides that my son just crawls right under there and comes up to me when I'm trying to edit Anyway, so it's not a very good wall I'll come and try to like unplug my hard drive and press the power button on my computer so I got some drywall that's what this is right here and I got a lot more down there let me show you all this drywall I got like six sheets of it and then I got a bunch of wood I'm gonna frame a actual room I'm basically building an actual room inside my living room with wood and drywall and all that stuff so it won't look ugly like this anymore <laughs> the only thing I'm gonna have to do is move the couch it's really messy in here right now I'm sorry I was about to clean but I got to get this video up <laughs> so I'm gonna have to move the couch and the TV because I'm going to make it a little bit wider than what it is right now because it's like barely enough room and I want to have room to actually do things in there other than just sit and react because I saw the comments from yesterday's video a lot of you're saying you want to see me try the life hacks not only react to them and I want to do it too I want to try a lot of things not just life hacks. so I'm gonna build the room a little bit bigger than what it is now yeah it looks really big from the outside but this is actually how big the room is it's just a wide lens I'm literally I can't even spread my arms out all the way maybe five feet wide I could touch my elbow to one wall and my hand to the other wall that's how wide it is in here pretty pretty small pretty claustrophobic but it is nice having this wide angle lens though because then I can just have a tiny little box and it looks like I'm filming in a slightly bigger tiny little box. Oh yeah, nice rip in the mattress on the back side too. Pretty cool, so this is this is what it looks like from my perspective. Voila! So I'll have room for my desk, and then I'll have room for a separate table and a filming setup. I could try other stuff and film stuff and be loud any time of day, day and night, whether he's asleep or not, because I'm gonna put a ceiling on it too and make sure that I'm totally isolated, like a separate room. I have all this sound foam, which is just all over the place right now. Oh, because I gotta get this room up, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to sound treat the room so I can be loud and film anytime. That's been my biggest problem. You know, I can't film when the baby's sleeping, because I'll wake him up. We'll come out to about here, and that'll give me room to open the door and walk in, and boom, office. Doesn't that look awesome? Can you visualize it? I can see it now. <laughs> so that is what I've been working on, or and I'm about to work on some more today and this weekend. I will let you know when it's done. I don't want to make this a whole vlog because I thought it would be boring for a lot of people, so I just tagged it on to the end. I know some of you want to see vlogs, some of you don't. So I thought I'd kind of make a mixture of this video. Anyways, that's all for this video, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.